Now a give. This is Abdullah. Side of five to the four. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. into a brick wall. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Offense working with a second and goal now from the three. Oh, look at the juke. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now the Bills will take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They run, Abdullah. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. And the Bills getting set to go. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits, defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. So here come the Lions now. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And that one, 